What is going on everyone? My name is Jared and I am from TechWorks and today we're doing something a little different. So I'm sure this has happened to you. You have your laptop out, it falls, something gets dropped on it and you turn on your computer and you see these cracks, whether you can see them or not, you see these cracks in your display panel. So now you have a laptop with a broken screen, all these black streaks running through it, it's cracked, you can't use it but your laptop still works. So what do you do? Do you just ditch it and get a new one? Or do you try to repair it? Do you try to send it out to someone to have repaired? Well, actually replacing your display is not that hard. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it. So this will be more of a guide and less of a step-by-step -step instructional because I'm using an older Toshiba satellite laptop as my example because it just so happened that is what broke with mine. Now. There's kind of two ways of doing a screen replacement. When I typically work on a MacBook, I buy a display that has the whole outside housing, the metal piece, all that together. So all I have to do is do a one for one swap. Or in the instance of this, I had to take the actual LCD panel out of the casing and replace this part because you can't or I couldn't find a whole display assembly. Also, this way is generally cheaper. So. I have already taken my screen apart because in my infinite wisdom, I did not think of filming that section of it, but I'm gonna to try to explain the best I can going forward what I did to take it off and then show you how to put it back together. So I'm gonna get set up and I will see you in a second. So as you can see, I already have my laptop apart, but I'm gonna basically show you what I had to do to get the screen off and then how to put it back together. I'm gonna try to explain the best through the course of this, how I took it apart and how we'll put it back together. So first things first, make sure you get a nice workspace. I have a toolkit. You will need a small screwdriver set. Uh, any really screwdriver set will do. Luckily for me, most PCs are actually all Phillips head screws you get into some Macs and they have proprietary screws like the tri-point, uh, the pentalobe, things of that nature. But luckily we don't have any of that to worry about here. <clears throat> we just need a Phillips head screwdriver. So I also recommend having something to put your screws in where you know which step is which because all these screws are, they could be different sizes and you don't want to have something where the screw is too long and it shorts out. Meanwhile, my cat is walking on the broken screen not a big deal, but uh, if you do have pets, maybe keep them away for this. Luckily for me, it's already broke, so they can't do anything more to it. So first things first, take all your bottom screws off. And there we go. So now this back piece is gonna be free. So you're gonna feel like you're breaking it because all this does is snaps in to, this, uh, to the top piece. Pry it off, comes all off as one piece. You don't need this right now, you can set it to the side. All right, so <clears throat> up here on the top, this would be where the hinge assembly was. I'm gonna remove the old screen real quick and I'm just gonna show you, this would have went right here and that would have lined up right here, all right? So you're gonna take off those screws and to start getting this loose but don't take it off just yet. So again, make sure that you uh, know which screws are which. So I'm gonna set these in the third slot over. I know these are my hinge screws. My, bot my cats have a nice box to play with, so they are occupied for this moment. This laptop has a little metal uh, shield. I'm just gonna actually just tip it or move it to the side uh, meanwhile, you're gonna have a couple connectors that are connecting to this piece. And I actually saved my connector to show you what those are. So you have this, which is kind of a flat style cable, and this is gonna go on your board. Again, my spot for mine is right next to the fan. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. It goes right here, all right? So these cables are very delicate. You gotta slide them straight out backwards to make sure that you don't bend anything 
or do anything wrong. So anyway, or I'm gonna zoom back out because all I'm gonna do is take off the other hinge screws on the other side. And like I said, I already, I put some screws back when I was putting my computer back away so I didn't lose anything. You might have three screws, MacBooks have three. Uh, and again, now there's two ways of taking this off. Uh, one theory is that you take all but one screw off, open your laptop and set it like a book on the table, unscrew the last one, slide your lid out. The other way, what I'm doing here is I am just unscrewing the hinges, undoing the cables, I'm gonna open the laptop like you normally would and take the screen off. So neither of them are wrong, uh, it's just one is you're putting a little less strain on the top piece. So for me, I just opened it up. The hinges on this aren't that stiff, but some laptops, they are pretty stiff and it's good to do that bookshelf method. So the next two things you have here is this is your Wi-Fi card and on your top case or on your lid case, you have a couple more connectors. So wherever this shows up, this one was right next to the Wi-Fi cable, which was probably your camera cable. And then you have a white and a black cable, which these are your Wi-Fi antennas. They are just little circles. Hopey. They are just little circles that push onto your Wi-Fi card. They're really finicky. All these cables are really delicate and you just gotta be careful with taking them off. This is why I said if you have a little plastic, uh, a plastic tool, this makes it so you're not putting a lot of force with your finger and whatever you do, don't push and pull on the wire and not the connector itself, or else you might pull it out, and if it's a cable you're not replacing, well, unfortunately, you are gonna be SOL. So, at this stage of the game, you have your screen off of the body. So, I'm gonna show you real quick how that goes, and then we'll get into actually putting the new one on. So, here you have this, and this is how the screen was. So, this, arrangement was actually pretty easy because all you have is four screws that hold this panel in. You have a screw right there, screw up there and on the other side, and you just pull it off. Before that, you're probably wondering, I skipped a step, you have this little plastic covering. So this is the little flimsy piece of plastic that goes on top of it. It literally just snaps in to the plastic frame. So very gently, I reached a pry tool, um, a guitar pick, a piece of plastic, a, a stiff card. You can put in there and pull it up very gently. It'll unsnap. You're gonna think you're breaking it, but as long as you're going it slow and not just yanking it off, you're not gonna have a problem. So now you got this screen off, super. So now we get into the replacing part. And if you can see, the camera focuses, you'll see all the dark black in the screen and that is where the screen died, right? That's where it would show up. If you turned it on, it would just be black dead pixels and it would be no use to anybody. It would just be dead. So we'll toss that to the side and here we have our replacement. Luckily, I was nice enough to find this on Amazon for uh, not too much money. I think it was $50, $49, something like that. Uh, not crazy expensive, but I wanted to replace it in case I, one, ever wanted to sell this computer, and two, I was still actually using it just for, I was messing around with Linux and different things there, so I wanted it to be functional, both if I was ever gonna sell it and just for my own personal use. So we're just gonna delicately take this off, make sure your cats don't eat any of the cables. <laughs> That's the constant struggle. It's hard because I, I love my animals very much and I also like their company, but I also don't want them to eat what I'm working on or step on it like what they're doing right now. Set this to the side. Both of you guys dismount. Come on. There goes my screwdriver. Come on. So here's the new screen. Obviously be careful with that. You don't want it to get stepped on. You don't want there to be any pressure points anything like that, you don't wanna break it before you get going. Luckily for me, I took that cable off the other screen because this did not come with it. And there's a piece of plastic on the front, super. 
So I'm gonna actually put the cable on first before I mount it in there. Again, these are these flat style cables. Uh, they have tons of little pins on the bottom. So this is just something you gotta be careful with when you put this in. It slides horizontally, just fits right in there and you'll know when it's all the way in. Kinda snaps, kinda doesn't. But basically you wanna be very careful cause there's not much that this is hanging onto. There's just a little tiny circuit board in the bottom which is controlling all of what this screen does. So there you go, there you have it. I'm gonna reuse this piece of tape that came on the other board. And here you have it. So this is ready to get put in to the top case. So I'm gonna set this in very nice, very easy. Again, it'll just fit right in there. So now my extra screws that I had from last time, I had in a little plastic bag so I didn't lose them or they didn't get lost or eaten. But you have four very little tiny screws if I could get the last one, there we go. And I need my screwdriver. Where did that go? Is it underneath here? Nope. Did a cat take it? Maybe. Is it in my pocket? Also a possibility. Where in the heck did that go? <laughs> Constant struggle. Oh, right here in front of me. So these are the smallest little screws. See how tiny they are? But again, all Phillips, so it makes this process very easy. So now when you're working on computers, stuff doesn't have to be super tight. Like you don't have to snug it down to the point of you strip out a connection or anything of that nature. You basically just have to put it in, make it nice and snug, make it to where this is not going to fall out and you're gonna be in business. So we snug everything down nice. Get my last screw. Now again, my screwdriver says magnetic. If you don't have a magnetic set, um, you'll just have a slightly harder time. But there you go. So this is all in. I'm gonna remove this plastic film. I think. Note to customer, peel off plastic protective film before use. Super. Okay, that didn't peel off the protective cover. That just did nothing covers really on there then ain't it there we go so I urge everyone to make sure that you are also buying the right panel so this laptop apparently had two different variants come on come on here you want the plastic come on come on down here take it <laughs> easily bribe my cats uh this model had two different variants one that was a touchscreen variant and one that wasn't so obviously you want to have the one that matches your variant. Uh, let's see, and I wanna make sure that these wires don't get pinched. That is such an important detail anytime because these wires, if I haven't mentioned it a dozen times already, these wires are very fragile. Very tiny, very fragile, and if you pinch one of these, high chance that it doesn't work after you pinch it. So, like I mentioned, this flimsy little piece of plastic just kind of snaps together. You're kind of just gonna, as carefully as possible. What are you doing? You crazy, crazy cat. Let me just move this like so. I need to make sure nothing is getting pinched because it feels like it is. Should be a little channel this guy sits in, yep. All the way up in here. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'll move up a little bit, slide this around. So a little channel, sits up, sits underneath. There you go. Again, important, all these wires go where they're supposed to. If not, your uh, stuff won't fit right. So again, we will very carefully Put this on top of it. Put this on top of that here. Make sure this bottom part snaps in good. Maybe it doesn't snap in. This is the this is the finicky part. So, so this is the finicky part because 
everything has to fit just right, like I was saying before. These things don't necessarily go back the way they're supposed to. So we are going to try our best to make that happen. So before I go snapping too much, as you can see, I have a little area where there's a gap. Now, that might not be a super big deal, but I just want this to fit as good as possible. And basically, I don't want anyone to realize that this was a replacement. <clears throat> I don't want it to look strange, right? So, dealing with this plastic cover, like I was mentioned before, you basically just got to gently pry it up. Or if you have a tool, like I have, you can slide it in here and pry it. Again, plastic tools are better than metal in this case because you don't run the risk of scratching or shorting or anything like that. So let me take that off. Let's look at this again. Let's see where this goes. Hey, Nala, are you helping? No? So this cable is just being a super, super pain in the butt. But I'm gonna try to run this as close in this channel as possible. Try to get it right in there so we don't have any issues whatsoever. But like I said, you gotta be careful. The whole thing is if you're unsure about where stuff goes, always take time, consult a guide. Um, I'm sure somebody somewhere has done this to a laptop that you personally have, right? So take the time, check it out. You don't want to be doing something wrong or say you are watching my guide, but your laptop looks a lot different. You know, don't take the risk of just jumping to following this guide for maybe a Dell laptop. Maybe it's different. Maybe it's a heck of a lot easier. There we go, that fit in much better. So we'll, we'll go around, snap all this in, make sure it's down good. Let's see, let's look over here. There we go, that looks good. That looks good. Like I said, check the edges, check these hinges. Ah, we got one on the bottom. Hold on, let's, let's just uh, finesse it in there. Perfect, you heard that snap, it's in. So here you go, screen is in, in the casing, you're ready to rock. So at this point, we are gonna start the reassembly process. And again, you do this obviously the opposite way you did before. So I'm gonna make sure one, all my cables are facing the right way. I'm gonna do this, so I just kinda of lay it in here. There we go. Flip it down as if the laptop was together. Like I said, these hinges aren't super stiff, so I am just gonna fold them down. All right, so there you have it. So now we have everything back to where it should be. And now we start the process of reassembly. Uh, the one thing you want to make sure is that for me, for example, I did not, I reassembled this when I put it away. So you want to make sure that any spot that has a screw hole gets a screw and you're not missing one. For example, this one should be out and I had it in. No big deal. Take that out. Put that over there in the hinge category. Fold that guy down. And the other side looks good. Shouldn't need the pry tool anymore. Put that away. I'm gonna screw these in first and then I'm gonna get to the process of reattaching all your cables. So I'm just gonna move these out 
of the way. Fold that back in. All right. So now we start the process of putting in all your screws. If you don't remember where they come in, make sure you look down and see where there's a threaded spot. When there's threads, that means there was a screw there. So every spot that had a screw, you wanna make sure there was a new screw in there. And a lot of times when you get these replacement screens, they don't come with anything. They just come with the screen. So make sure you're using all the hardware that you took out of it and put it back in. Also, if you notice, there's gonna be labels a lot of times on these hinges where what gets screwed in by your bottom case and what gets screwed in by your hinge. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. I'll try to zoom in best of my ability here. Wow, way too far in. See, it says BOT with an arrow poising up and BOT over there. That means that your bottom case is gonna take care of those screws. Go to the other side. Unscrew in everything the way it was. If you loosened anything up to move it out of the way, for example, I had this metal piece, make sure that you move it. Put that like so. This one moves over like so. Because the last thing you wanna do is get this all back assembled and then have to pull this all back apart when you are have screws left. It's the last thing you want. So I'm just gonna loop that in there like so and screw that in. Again, nothing too crazy tight, just nice and snug. This is your flat cable. So again, you wanna push these in. I usually do it one side, one side, or push them in straight together. Whatever is, is gonna fit the best, basically. So the other stuff for your screen, you have your Wi-Fi antenna, white and black, and this guy right here, this flat cable, which is probably for your webcam. So I am going to do your white and black first. Now, it tells you on your Wi-Fi card which one's white and which one's black. You see the little arrows right here? That's telling you what color goes to which terminal. So on this specific card, in my orientation to me at this moment, your left one is white, your right one is black. So these little guys just go on and snap in. This guy just goes on. And there you go. These guys are very, oh, bam. So now they're both in. I'm going to get this other screen cable put in. This is a plastic one. I just use my fingernail because I've done it before, but you can use your little plastic tool. Push it in evenly, make sure it's as flat as it can be. And then pretty much I am gonna fish all these wires back into this little channel that's up in the top. It's almost in there. Anyway, I'm gonna try this without having the bottom case on because I wanna make sure this works before I spend all the time screwing it together. So put in your power. I'm just gonna set my bottom case on. I'm not, I'm not gonna screw it in yet. I'm gonna flip it over, moment of truth. Let's see what we got. So there you have it. That's how you do a screen repair on a PC. Uh, like I said, this isn't an end all be all. Your computer will certainly probably be different unless you have this exact computer. Uh, but it's pretty much straightforward as long as you follow the same steps of take the back off, uncheck the cables that are coming from your screen Take the screws out of the hinges, gently take your screen off the body. If you have just the LCD panel, pry this plastic piece off very nice and easy. Take out your screen, undo your steps, and you'll be in business. Here I'm greeted with my login screen. And uh, as you can see, fully working, no dead spots. I'll call it a success. For 50 bucks, I got this computer back up and running to its original shape, and uh, it'll be used once more. So I gotta put the rest of the screws in the back. But anyway, my name is Jared. I am from TechWorks. This was how to replace your LCD screen 
on your PC computer. If you want me to do a video on how to do it on a Mac, please let me know. I will record it the next time I have someone who needs me to repair one. So anyway, thank you everyone for watching. Stay tuned for more content and I will see you in the next video.